some of the advantages of coming off the bench and playing. I, I think, Kevin, if you think about coming off the bench and mentally you're into the game, mm -hmm. you'll understand the rhythm of when you check in and where you might be able to take advantage of what they're doing defensively, some of their offensive schemes. You might have seen the sets. So it's important to pay attention while you're on the bench and then come in and impact the game in a positive way. You can get in the floor of the game without even playing. Sometimes, and then you yeah. also get to play against another team's bench, which can sometimes help you find your rhythm a lot quicker than going up against the starters. Good point. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. The big man are Griffin and Drummond. Jackson and Bullock are the one and the two. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. Griffin kicks to Jackson. A three ball. Excellent job by Bledsoe to alter the shot. Even as a point guard, you can still affect your opposition. Oof, this guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, GA, he does mm. not waste one of them. Well, you love the NBA, but some of these guys have the DNA. He also outworks everybody. Filthy combination. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupation. We talk a lot about Russell Westbrook and the way that he attacks every game. I think in the Eastern Conference, Giannis Antetokounmpo might be the same way, just tenacious and full of energy, and he fills up the stats. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. Now you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. Bloodsoe outside. Six on the shot clock. True on the 14-footer. And some have even compared Giannis to Kobe Bryant for his single-minded dedication, Greg, to improvement. Yeah, you know, something of an introvert. Not a guy you'll find out on the town or schmoozing with other stars. He's content to save outside pursuits for after his playing days are done. Drummond the screen, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Traditionally, we talk about power forwards. I mean, is that not Blake Griffin? It applies to every facet of his game. This is his first free throw of the game. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. And that one misses. And Blake Griffin said early in his career he used to rely on his athleticism to get by. He said the problem was every season he'd be worn out by February. So diversifying his offensive game has helped him to kind of withstand the rigors of a long NBA season. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Henson checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And Brogdon subbed in for Tony Snell. Connington kicks to Henson. Bucks passing it around. Giannis, if you talk about maturity, the next thing you're going to see is him playing with great patience. Let the play unfold and then take what the defense gives you. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Passes it to Smith. Moore sets the pick for Smith. Floats one up. He lays it in. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Milwaukee in the lead. Bledsoe kicks to Brogdon. They set the screen. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. Bledsoe outside. No good with the triple. Here's Kennard for three. Good at staying with his man. You can tell Brogdon is trying his best to shut you down. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Bucks ahead. They lead by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Already a super. I'm just trying to focus on the court. Uh, what I think he's already a top 10 player with his skill set and physical tools, Greg. He can be an all-time great. He's shown the dedication. I think he's only going to get better. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. 
When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? So far, they've been active scoring the basketball, built up a little lead here, and looking good. Well, when you come out in the first quarter with that kind of offense, obviously the game plan is in full effect. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going. Up front, you have Ilya Silva and Henson. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Connaughton in at the small forward position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. The Pistons went for it last season, bringing in Blake Griffin and trading away picks and players. Didn't work out the way they want it, but they are determined to make a go of it. They're in a brand new building, and they hope that their moves in the future will draw fans back to the franchise. Kevin? Good overview, David. Thank you. Henson with the screen. Middleton the pass to Henson. Right wing. Even Genzo sinks the triple. Brent, we have bigs playing a different kind of game in the NBA now. It feels like skill is taking over, and even last year in the playoffs, so much talk for us about the idea of not being able to play a big center, right? Not being able to play a post-up sure. center or a, a rim-protecting center. These players have to be mobile. They have to be able to set screens and roll down the lane, and they have to be able to switch out, most importantly, defensively to guard the most talented scorers in the league. So the center position is now becoming a more skilled position where teams take their best four man and slide them down to the five, all uh, the Draymond Green or sometimes Giannis with Milwaukee to make sure that they can make the most impact all around on the floor. Good example. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. No, that's a good call. Just keep arguing with the officials because they change that call all the time. Not. And the Pistons making a change here. Drummond's checked in for Pachulli. Griffin comes in for John Lewis. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for Johnson. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Ish Smith. And Bledsoe, here we go. Once Bledsoe gets ahead of steam and gets those feet together, you get plays like that. 59 seconds left now here in the second. Right side, Griffin. Drummond trying to get himself free. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Here's Middleton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, Chris Middleton is such a versatile scorer. And because he has the ability to put the ball down on the floor, sometimes defenders are not as willing to close out to him. But last year was in the 74th percentile in spot-up jump shots. It can be devastating from there. Kennard, he's checked in for Detroit. Middleton hits them both. Encouraging sign there to see him knock down the free throw. Jackson against Bledsoe. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. Milwaukee making a switch. Donatons checked in. 32 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Griffin against Andre Kumbo. Shot clock at five. Detroit, no good that time either. Bucks leading by six. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. That's attacking the rack. Attend to Kumbo on the take and muscled his way in. Jackson against Bloodsoe. Jackson kicks to Griffin. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. And he drains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll come. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, it's a competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period with three points being their largest cushion. They really did some damage in the second quarter. And as things started clicking for them, they were able to get out to a nine point lead by halftime. And
Welcome back to the Great Lakes. We're back on the shores of Lake Michigan here in Milwaukee in the buildings in the background at sunset in Wisconsin. The second half just about to get going here. You have to like what we're seeing from under Takumbo. It's been about his ability to just lock down the opponent from a defensive standpoint. A lot of shots also being blocked. Well, I think big guys like to affect shots, but big guys love to send shots into the third row. That's an intimidating factor. On the court for the Pistons, the athletic front pair is Griffin and Drummond. Jackson and Bullock are the one and the two. And it's Robinson in at the small forward. Griffin passes to Bullock. There's a screen by Robinson. Back to Bullock. Drummond with a screen on Bloodsoe. From 13. And it's good off the back rim and in. I'm not sure why anyone would leave him alone at that range. Head scratcher. And for Detroit, a lot of changes, Greg, in their front office this past offseason. A new GM and Dwayne Casey brought in to coach. Could see a drastic shift in style and approach for the Pistons moving forward. Inside, throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It goes on Chris Middleton. Yeah, you don't want to leave people open when Blake Griffin has vision of the floor. He exploited the hole in the defense that time. And the Pistons making a change here. Pachulia, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Luer comes in for Blake Griffin. Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Smith subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Johnson gets the bucket. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. They set the pick in the corner. Middleton with it. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Middleton's got five points so far. Well, Middleton hovers around that 40% mark from downtown in his career. It's a good-looking shot there. Smith left side. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Lures sets the pick for Robinson. Clock at four. And Henson sends it back. Well, he's a great shot blocker. Henson's still trying to bring the rest of his game up to that level. Smith against Brogdon. The kick out to Ilyasova. In the corner, Middleton with it. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pistons trailed by eight. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Shoots from the baseline, and Chris Middleton pulls it down. It's Brogdon on the wing, covered by Smith. Middleton outside for three. That one's not going to go. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Giannis is down low with Lopez. Then there's Tony Snell. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Connaughton in at the, the two. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Pistons trail by 10. Jackson kicks to Griffin to the middle. And Drummond throws it down. And when he gets himself into the right position, Drummond so powerful in terms of finishing at the rim. The only way to prevent that alley-oop is to keep him from getting to the launching pad in the first place. 
And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The first one falls. Then Robinson, the third, is checked in for Luke Kanaw. That one is no good. And for the Pistons, they're shooting in this game 45%. Bullock passes to Griffin. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And Griffin has battled knee injuries during his career, but, but his persistence is incredible. Still a nightly double-double threat. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Milwaukee has possession. They've led by as many as 11 points. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. Back to Bledsoe. Snell dishes to Bledsoe. With his first shot attempt. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Bledsoe. And the Bucks lead by nine. Good awareness from EB there. He knows that's his job. Get the ball to the open guys as the point guard. Jackson kicks to Griffin. Over onto Dekumbo. Griffin shot is off. I mean, looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. Connaughton passes to Bledsoe. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's onto Dekumbo. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. So the first one drops, and that'll push the lead to double digits. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connington. Getting open in the NBA, not an easy task, and there are a lot of players that are so good moving off the ball. I think the first couple guys that come to mind are, are J.J. Redick and Kyle Korver. Old school style in which they operate like a Rip Hamilton. And if you go back, Mitch Richmond, where they're using a multitude of screens, seemingly never stopping during an offensive possession and causing some kind of confusion. So J.J. and Kyle Korver are still doing exemplary jobs of off-ball movement. Griffin can't get it to go in. Uh, the defense was solid there, smothering him close inside, and that's how you want to guard him. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Out of the Kumbo up top. Middleton on the wing, guarded by Robinson. Lopez a screen near the three-point line. It's Bledsoe. That one off the back iron and out. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there. Carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. And not afraid to say it. If Drummond isn't the best rebounder in the NBA, he's got to be in the top three. That goes for both ends of the floor. Just no way to hold him in check on the board. On the Dekumbo against Griffin. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Over Griffin. Great D that time from Griffin. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And they've earned this one. Showing an ability to, to dominate in front of their home crowd. Yeah, tick-tock and not much time on the clock left. Double-digit lead and coming up roses. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem.